Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Perpetual prompts with Carrie Griffiths. We are on week 19. And right after I hit the end recording button on this video, I realized that I forgot to pull the prompts for this one. So this week, our prompts are label, favorite color, thread or fibers, autumn and summer so two seasons in one in one poll i also i only have five left so whatever these five are oh i have six one two three four five six oh, that's right because there was one week i only did four so i have one extra um so by the end of this video i'll have to decide if i'm just going to randomly pull one out and leave it in here and let it shuffle into the next round or even it out do six this week i'll make that decision toward the end of this video <laughs> so i will be doing some muting because i have um i have the rub ons out again <clears throat> very squeaky little activity um, although I am going to use my metal tool and maybe it won't squeak as much as the plastic one did, we'll try it. And if it, if it makes a lot of noise, like the plastic one did, then I'm going to go ahead and mute while I do it. Um, so these circles say waves, water, sand, sea, beach, summer, um, relax. And I've got all kinds of different sizes. So I have this very autumn paper green with the brown leaves falling all around. And I'm just going to randomly put these circles on the base of the page. And that's where I'm gonna, how I'm going to start. So this one, the little one, actually has some that are not complete so they're already kind of off the page like this one has only got the corner I'm gonna start with that I also don't know if my um, if this is going to be um, hard enough, this, which doesn't look like it is. So I'm actually going to bring, I'm going to bring in my stamping block since it's kind of hanging out on my desk here anyway. But yay, it doesn't squeak and squeal. So again, kind of lift up, see what's left behind, if anything. Okay. Grab this one up here.
<laughs> you're supposed to be able to just rub these lightly. <laughs> there is no, yeah. If you've ever played with these kinds of things, there is no rubbing lightly. Um, yeah, and there's a couple that are just not wanting to come off. Okay, there's that one. Yeah, there is no such thing as rub lightly when it comes to these. There never really is. Even, even with the good quality ones or the, you know, the ones that are new, they're not. Um, none of them are. Oh, just rub lightly. Nope. <laughs> no such thing. There is no such thing. <clears throat> you may be able to tell that it's actually bring, taking some of the plastic off. Um, of this as I'm scraping it. That is because I'm, you know, it is metal, so. You know, it's funny because, you know, when you buy these, they come with a popsicle stick, you know, and it's a popsicle stick, you know, that is supposed to be your, your, uh, rubbing tool. Yeah, right. Ironically enough, the word summer did not come off. Each fun, okay. Relax. And then salt water. Funny, there's a relax. It did not, uh, did not come off. Pain in the booties. I switch hands. Okay. 
Oops. I'm like, I'll try to keep that in a circle, but. On you beach. Okay. Now let's see if we can relax. <laughs> it's moving. This is really hard on my hands, though. thinking this would work better than what I was using, but not so far. Serves up. Uh, I have some uh, some six by six paper that is um, surf surfing themed. That I thought about using, but. Funny, it's always, you know, seems to be one that just doesn't want to come off. And it seems to be relaxed that doesn't want to relax. None of those are letting loose. Yeah. Water finally did. Well, scissors are not working any better. Sounds like I have gotten out of the trip to the Oregon coast, which, you know, eh, kind of sucks that I won't get to see my in-laws, you know, but that is a really long, hard drive for me. 
And most of the time I end up just sitting in the house anyway, because I can't physically do all the all the walking and all the touristy stuff very well. So I don't know. When we went last year, I kind of felt like a burden in a lot of ways because, you know, spent a lot of time, you know, just, you know, waiting for me to get caught up because I was having to walk so slow and having to stop and rest and I felt bad. It's kind of reminded me of, you know, when I went to Vegas, it was kind of the same thing happened there. It was like, you know, I was having to constantly stop and get my, my body to, to stop arguing. You know, it took us forever to get anywhere in Vegas because kept having to stop and stop and rest, stop and uncramp, stop and rest, stop and rest, stop and rest. I mean, it was just... I know it took some of the fun out for me, so I imagine it did for, you know, the people I was with as well. Not that, you know, anybody would have said anything or did, you know, nobody did say anything, but, you know, you can feel those things, right? Waves does not want to make waves. There we go. Probably, I'm just going to, um, Toss this one out. I'm sure my daughter won't mind because this is a cool symbol. I'm going to go ahead and keep that and I will put it back in the swatch book and press ons book. Just got to find the summer one. Oh, there it is. Put that back in. <coughs> Excuse me. And off to the side. You can see all the, all the goober. Um, so my favorite color is black. <laughs> black goes with everything. I don't ever have to worry about not matching. I've talked before about, you know, like my color, my inability to understand color theory. Um, there's a reason I have a color wheel saved on my phone. It's because I can't visualize that stuff I, so I have to like pull, pull the color wheel up whenever I'm looking for that color theory and trying to figure out what color goes with what so I have this idea in my head we'll see how it goes <laughs> But 
that and I'm probably, I don't know if I, one string is going to be enough or if I'm going to need to pull in a second one. Now, if I was pulling this straight off the skein, absolutely, there would be plenty of thread. But since I'm pulling it from my cross stitch, or not my cross stitch, my junk journal, my binding supplies, this is overflow embroidery floss from either finished kits or grab bags that I've gotten at secondhand stores. So I don't know what, I uh, almost said what flavor, what brand they are. Some of them, I don't know what color they are. I mean, black is obvious. But I am a, I am a DMC girl. I'll use anchor in a pinch. Um, but I prefer to use my DMC flosses or my cross stitch. So any, anything else that I end up with, um, goes in my little drawer over there, um, in my book binding, my journal binding supply drawer. It worked okay. I don't know where my green... I don't know where my glue rag is. This seems to be a forever problem, right? Every every video I do, I'm losing something. Okay. And I do lose my glue rag most often, I think, probably. Between the glue rag and the remote. Strand of glue. Yep, it's on the floor. Okay, I'm going to throw that little one away. So this right now is just kind of making a background. <laughs> So my niece, my nieces, <laughs> um, and her family, they went camping over the weekend. I haven't heard from them how their weekend went. Hopefully they can uh, get some time to get over here because they're not going to be able to get their fair projects finished if they don't make time to come over and work on them. And I know at the 4-H meeting, as we were leaving, the oldest was like, we need to get over to Aunt Laura's because I got to work on my stuff. And I'm like, well, yeah. That is very true. Journal's not going to make itself. The cross-stitch project isn't going to stitch itself. 
But, you know, in reality at this point, um, she may get her journal done by fair, um, which is in like three months ish. Um, four months. Um, because she is almost the oldest is almost done with her journal. Um, she's got to figure out what she wants to put in the pockets. If anything, if she wants to do tags and all of that, this go around for her first journal. Um, or if she wants to just put like colored paper in them and get a cover on it. Um, however, that's going to work and get her pockets glued down, you know, and then any, any added embellishments on top of that. So she's much closer to being done than her sister is. So, and she's actually started on her cross stitch which her sister also has not because last time they were here literally five minutes before her dad was, their dad was supposed to be here to pick them up. The youngest was like, why don't I get to cross stitch? And I'm like, um, are you seriously asking right now? So she didn't get hers started. Again, well, I'm going to save that just for a moment. Get another string out. I'm like, well, you've had 24 hours to ask me. You know, not to mention that whole hour before well, probably closer to two hours before that was spent with her older sister, helping her pick out a pattern, kitting it up, getting all her threads ready, you know. And then she even sat next to me and stitched for like 20 minutes before her sister was like, why can't I do it? I'm like, well, because you're just now start, because you're just now asking and I have time to get you set up now. And literally like three minutes later, her dad walked through the door. So. And then here we just have just a little arc or an arch, depending on. depending on your vernacular. I'm going to put another little, another little one there. Because why not? I'm going to make it just a big, a big loop for right now. Cause then I can go back in and after it dries and cut the little tails off, but gives me something to hold on to. <laughs> okay. Same, same thing here. I'm going to put two little lines there as if You know, as if it had a swirly in it. So one there. And one. There. My tummy is getting grumbly. And then I'm going to do one right there. Boop. So 
So again, favorite color is black. But where did all, oh, there it is. I'm like, but where did all of my stuff go? Some of it anyway. There it is. So thinking about summer um, made me think back to um, when I lived on Guam. Um, for those of you that don't know. Guam is an island, so you don't live in Guam, you live on Guam. <laughs> I lived in Manila on Guam. <laughs> um, but we had this really cool beach bar down there. And, and like they served your stuff in coconuts and it was on the beach. You got, you were down there and you were, you know, barefoot a lot of the time. Um, so in thinking about that, um, when I saw this, um, label silver, silver slipper grill, it made me think of the place in Guam that we used to go eat at, even though, I mean, obviously that's not what it's, what it was called. Um, the beach bar in Guam, on Guam was called Barney's. It was kind of a, it was a pretty, uh, rowdy military hangout spot. Because, you know, <laughs> if you go to the NCO club, you kind of have a standard of behavior that's expected of you, even if you're intoxicated. Um, I mean, and as military personnel, even on a on an off base bar, you know, you're still kind of expected, well, not kind of, you're still expected to maintain, you know, conduct becoming a soldier and significant other. Um, but being in an off base bar, you're able to get away with it a little more than if you, than you are like at the NCO club, for example, which, you know, we, we got pretty rowdy at the NCO club more than, more than once. Um, so it's not like, you know, it's not like, Soldiers don't get rowdy because they're at the NCO club. That's definitely not the case. Yeah, but Barney's was a blast. It's like a true tropical. <laughs> I mean, if you think about a tropical beach bar, think think about like um, the bars that the professor would build on Gilligan's Island. And that is very similar to what um, Barney's was like. So some of these are obviously going to get covered up. Um, but... I do want to try to cover as little or as few as possible. My glue is being very stubborn. It's saying, really? You're having to use me because you're almost out of glue stick? Uh-huh. Watch this. <laughs> oh, 
I'm going to make your crafting life fun. So covering up a little one there, but that's sacrificing the little one so that the big ones stay visible. I like the autumn leaves. Those were in a, my book of Washington that I was going through um, for another video. I came across those and I was like, oh, I know what I can use those for. They do have flat edges because they were um, the way they were in the picture. So I can't just like randomly hang them out in the center of my picture because that would be weird because leaves don't have flat edges. <laughs> so with that, um, <coughs> being that it took me back to Guam, I also have these two little um, postcard stickers that I'm going to put on here as well, just as a an additional nod to being on an island out in the middle of the ocean, Pacific Ocean, where, you know, your family, you know, doesn't have ready, you know, ready access to you. And you got to wait for planes or ships <laughs> to bring you your mail. hope it doesn't get lost at sea and yes that does happen depends on what part of the country you're in you know what part of the world um but if your mail you know mail gets lost even if it's coming by plane or it's coming by boat doesn't matter it has the potential to get lost um and stuff for mail going to guam stuff would typically come by plane but everyone but big packages and stuff a lot of times would come by boat um so yeah sometimes sometimes the mail just never showed up okay find something up there I'm thinking just because I've got it out, I actually have one cut somewhere. I thought I did. <laughs> Change my mind. All right, let's get this baby glued in. Get my 19 on there. And you can see all the the indentions in the paper from trying to get this darn rub-ons to adhere to the paper. was smelling very strong today for some reason. It's not like the glue changes from day to day. <laughs> okay, 
make sure that stick into the page underneath. Because that does happen. May 8th, 2024. This tip down a little better. This tip down a little better. We have that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, maybe if I get the right thing to open up. So there is my page for week 19 of Perpetual Prompts with Carrie Griffiths. And uh, do I dare? I can't just leave one extra. I can't. So next week, I'll incorporate all six of them. Grabbing all of my ones that I've already done. I'm trying to anyway. That took a lot. I was trying not to breathe, talk, or cough into my microphone because I was literally leaning over it to get to all of these. So these are all the ones that I've already done. Oop. Already done all of these. So these are going back into the bag to start over another 100 prompts after next week okay back in the bag they went so next week we have door numbers fish photograph hand-drawn and repetition. <coughs> Door, fish, numbers, photograph, hand drawn, and repetition. So the last of the hundred prompts for a next week's video. Well, stay tuned. Hit that notification bell so that you know when the videos drop. Check out my playlist and you'll see all the different challenges that I'm participating in. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in and we will talk to you in the next video. Bye.